Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to those of you who are watching. We're actually live streaming this as well. So welcome to another live stream and uh, welcome to another uh, sort of video of sort of just in my house how I manage things. And this is food related. And as you know, we've made uh, some food videos and stuff like this. And what we're about to do right now is basically do something that I go through doing once every few years, which is basically sort through my liqueur cabinet, right? And what you see behind me right now, sort of basically what I end up doing is I, I unseasonally in general, I take fruit if there's good fruit to be had and I sort of infuse them. Uh, I use some sugar and vodka and sometimes gin and I sort of fill them up uh, fill up the bottles with the fruit and layers of sugar and pour alcohol on top and sort of give them a little swirl and stuff like this so the sugar melts a little bit and in general usually put them behind the window in the sun so the sun hits them a little bit and it sort of gives off a little heat and uh, the sugar in there sort of melts a little bit and you can shake it up a little bit more and you end up getting very delicious liqueur some of it nicely medicinal okay i have a couple of things here that are that are medicinal as well that i in general they're very good for the tummy okay i if i have sort of a, a tummy issues if i ate something that's making me feel bloated i drink a little bit just a touch just a little bit of liqueur sometimes a little bit more right and it makes your tummy feel so much better and every now and then i got a couple other things here that are good for uh, they have different medicinal properties and I'll let you know what they are. Actually, let me know. When, let, let me tell you what they are right now. There's a couple of them which are very good. One of them for sure is lemon and we're going to start off with that. Okay. Another one is uh, sea buckthorn that we pick from a local uh, sort of community garden here. And another not, another one that we have, I have to tra track down the name because I know what it's called in, in uh, Farsi in Persian. It's called Zohalakhti in Farsi. But English it's called the uh, cornelian cherries okay and i'm going to show you all of these and there's a couple of things we have to sort of sort out here because there's uh, some jars here where i took the uh the pulp from making jam and i didn't want to get rid of the rid of the jam so i poured put them in a jar poured vodka on top and because it was sort of pulp it sucked in all the vodka so what we're, we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up trying to filter some of it out get rid of the pulp and see what we can do so this is sort of me going through my routine that i do once every few years as well as sort of doing a little experimentation as far as the liqueurs here what you see here the bottles that you see here and what's inside of them they range anywhere from a couple of years old to about 40 years old i have a bottle here a liqueur that my grandfather started like around in the 80s so it'd be like 80s 90s uh, so it's like 40 years old or so right uh and it's amazing that one is we drink very sparingly you know we take another just a little bit at a time right and uh what we end up actually doing as well is once we finish off the alcohol in one of these bottles right one of these containers sometimes what we end up doing is or i end up doing if there's enough fruit in there you just i just end up pouring more sugar and more vodka on top and that's what we're going to do right now so we're going to clean it up sort through it get rid of the what, what we don't want and replenish some of our supply okay and i have sort of a table set up here a little box that we have so i'm going to put the stuff here i'm going to sort through the things that way you see what it is that i'm doing and the first one we're going to start off with is the lemon uh lemon batch that i have i started about uh probably about eight years ago okay i started this batch so let me get it okay take a look at this thing i'm going to definitely give the bottles a wipe as well right so this is my lemon liqueur down here is the vodka and you can tell there's a little bit of i don't know if you can tell there's a little bit of sugar still left that hasn't dissolved in there 
and I do have uh, I bought a couple extra bottles of uh, 26ers of vodka and what I'm gonna do for this is and here let me crack this open I'm gonna show you this as well my hands get a little sticky when I do this right so I have you know rags here and uh, and I have a little bucket. I usually, I usually just to let you know, I usually do this by the sink, by the kitchen, right? But because we're going to try to go through the whole thing in one shot right now, uh, I sort of set myself up here to be able to do this. And I have a bucket with water here right now. So I'm just going to wet the rag so that way I can, if I get too sticky, I can wipe off my hands, right? And another thing I've done as well is... Uh, I know we're not in season right now we're sort of in fall but we had to, we bought some fruit when it was in season and we froze it so we're gonna make a two possibly three new batches of liqueur okay so let me show you this because what we can do we can definitely eat the lemons as well so this is what the lemon comes out like right so this is basically organic lemons that I bought like seven years ago or so and what i ended up doing is cutting them up in these slices and what i would do and it becomes very soft fantastic this is amazing for the tummy amazing for the tummy really and what i ended up doing with this originally i filled it up like about this much for full of lemons and then i put sugar on top and then lemons and then sugar and then lemons and then vodka right so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to replenish this i have a, a bucket of sugar here as well let me bring this up okay here's my sugar okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to Pour some sugar on top of this. Actually, before we do that, one thing I do need to do is taste this to see what level it's at, right? So let's see if we can get it out. Let me see if I can do this with you guys to see it. Right. Okay, that's plenty because we're going to be sampling a few of them. Okay. It's a little cloudy. It used to be clearer, but the lemon is sort of becoming really soft now. It's fantastic state to be in. And this will carry for a couple of decades even, right? Oh, that is amazing. Really, it's amazing. And this guy, sometimes i take a glass like this put ice a couple of cubes of ice in there and pour this on top let the liqueur go over the ice and it sort of becomes cool and um and dilutes a little bit and you can just sip that okay but this was that is fantastic really so what we're going to do, we're going to grab some sugar here okay. and I'm going to pour it on top. And this is organic sugar that I'm using. Okay. And I don't weigh this stuff. I do it by, I taste it to see how much I need. This was very sweet, but because I'm going to be adding a lot of vodka to this, I'm going to try to fill this up. I don't know if I have enough vodka to do this, to do it with it, because I want to use use a little bit for other stuff too. So I'm gonna probably dump about half. Okay, let's put this down again. Give ourselves space. Okay. So we have that. Let me do. Bring the vodka out, and you know I'm not promoting any vodkas like really uh, well there are some vodkas that I like uh, but I don't I don't you know I'm not being paid I, I, just to let you know I'm not I'm not here promoting there's no agenda here or anything like this but I know the question is going to come up 
So for me, you can use any vodka you want. Don't use flavored vodka. You want to just use straight up vodka for these things. You don't want to get around orange vodka or chocolate vodka or whatever it is. You're doing that yourself right now, right? I'm doing that myself. So I want the vodka to be just straight up vodka, not infused with anything. But I usually end up using Absolute, okay? It's my vodka of choice to go to. Um, I do buy higher end vodkas. I like potato vodkas and stuff like this. Uh, but this is, I found, just like anything, if a certain food that you're consuming agrees with you, then it agrees with you. You should deal, you know, enjoy it, right? So all I do for this is, is just, go down so we use about a third of it or a quarter of it this one is probably the one I drink the most okay and what I've done before doing this I took a, another jar about this size right and I filled it up with some of the lemons and then transferred the vodka over right because uh, What's going to happen right now, because I'm putting fresh vodka in here, I'm not going to be drinking from this right away, right? I'm going to let it sit a little bit. And it's in the fall. It's not the best time to do this. You want to do this in the summer sometimes, usually anyway, uh, where when the fruit is fresh and the sun is strong, right? So I am going to try to put this behind the sun for a little bit of time. Okay. That's about half a bottle of vodka. That took us all the way up to here, right? So that's not bad. Should I add a little bit more? Let's add a little bit more. Can we fill it up to the top? That's gonna consume too much vodka. I need to save the vodka. We need. We have this one in another bottle for some of the other stuff we plan on doing, okay? So I'm just gonna put that there. And I'm gonna close this guy up. Give it a shake. Take a look. Right. And take a look. The sugar gets caught up in different places, right? Take a look. There's the sugar. Sugar, 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 right? So now that it's like this, I'm going to leave it alone. And after we've done the shoot, after we've done the stream, what I'm going to do is take this and put it in the sunroom and let it sit in the sun for at least a couple of days, okay? Hopefully, if it's sunny enough, it'll be warm enough inside and let the sun hit, hit this guy. And it's almost to the top, which is, oops, I'll do it this way. It's almost to the top, which is perfect, right? So my estimation of how much vodka we're gonna need for this one is not bad. So I'm gonna put this on the side, okay? And we're gonna grab another one, okay? Now, this one, I think we got more of this one too, do we? No, this is the last batch of this one. Now this guy, take a look. And you can tell this is again, an absolute bottle. Now this one doesn't need topping up, but I might add sugar to it. I'm gonna have a taste of it, right? This is the sea buckthorn that we picked from a local um, sort of community farm. They've planted some fruit trees and every year people go there and uh, in season, you just pick fruit and you eat and whatnot. And they have a fair bit of sea buckthorn bushes. So we grabbed a whole bunch of sea, buck, sea buckthorn. I believe this is the last bottle we have, right? And sea buckthorn is, it is medicinal. I forget. Uh, it's good for the tummy for sure, but it's got some other, some certain types of oils, which are really good. And people uh, make tinctures out of sea buckthorn right so what i'm going to do and you can eat the sea buckthorn as well maybe when we do let me see this is let me actually let's just use a different shot glass right let's use a purple shot glass oh let's use an orange shot glass because there's a sea buckthorn it's orange right so let's have a taste on this i want to see if it requires any more sugar okay just a little bit Maybe we can get a sea buckthorn to come out. Whoop. 
We've got one. Perfect. Here, let me bring this out. Can we get it? We'll do it the other way around. Ooh, strong. Even just tasting it like that is strong. Ooh, come back. Right, take a look. This is the sea buck part. Okay. This is for people watching it recorded later. Right? HD camera. And let me show you the people who are watching it live because this is the camera. This is the location of the camera. People are watching it live. Right? So you can eat this. Incredibly strong. Wow, wow, wow. Even this is going to be too much. Okay. Like really, this is going to be too much. Unfortunately, because I had already put the fork in my mouth and I put the fork in here, I'm not going to dump this in here. Okay, right? So you got to keep your lab clean. Okay, that's one thing you learn uh, through chemistry. Very strong, very strong. Does it need more sugar? No, no more sugar. But I'm not going to drink the rest of this. Okay? I'm going to put this on the side. Like, even that much is enough. Right? That's the beauty of liqueurs. They're not... Uh, you know... Give this a wipe. Let's give this a wipe. There, we use liqueurs for medicinal purposes, for meditation purposes, for just sitting back and chilling. And now you can tell there's a little bit of this isn't sugar at the bottom, it's sort of the sea buckthorn sort of residue that builds up in the bottom and it doesn't need check this out i forget what you call it uh the terminology for it right but this is perfect we don't need to do anything with this cool let's see what else we got what else we got i actually don't even know what this one is let me take off the wrapping because sometimes we just use whatever bottles we have, right? Let's get this. Let's throw this on the side. And take a look. This is crab apple. I think this is the crab apple stuff that we make crab apple jam from, right? I'm going to crack it open. It's already full, so it doesn't need any more vodka. Okay. And take a look at this. Towards the top, in the bottom, because it's sealed, no oxygen is getting to it, it's kept this color nice and bright. The top ones, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is going to be powerful. What do we got? Let's do red. <laughs> red shot glass for this. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is it. I have multiple forks here. So I'm going to grab another fork. We already used this one. I'm going to put this one on the side. And actually, I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to be legit with this. I got a plate here, right? So I'm going to use the fork I haven't. And I'm going to bring this out. Come on. Okay, we got to use it. This is the darker. Well, I'll show you the colors. Watch this. See the color of this one, right? Where oxygen hasn't got to it, and here's the color of this one, right? Big difference, right? So oxygen is what is, in general, your enemy to a certain degree, right? When it comes to food. Look at this. We're going to have a little bite on this. Wow. Mm. 
very good. I might add a little sugar to this. A tea. But before we do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little sip of it, right? Just a little. That's enough. Take a look. That's it. Okay. Right. Very little. We're going to add some sugar to it. Not too much, very little. Okay. A little bit more than that. Okay. I'm going to add this much sugar to it. Okay. I should have brought... I'm going to do this. Actually, let's put this, this guy here. Let's bring this guy. I'm going to put this in a in here so we don't get any spillage of the sugar if it falls out of the lid of this which we probably will maybe not if we're careful right nice <laughs> nice take a look i don't know if you can see it but the sugar grains are sort of falling down okay that's enough after a couple of months uh, or a month or so i'll taste it more here's the sugar getting stuck and again this one we're going to put by the window in the sun and i'm going to give it a wipe as well before i put it away or put it down here because ideally what i want to do is take care of all of these guys and then give the table a nice wipe as well right this is sort of fall cleaning i guess you can think about it but I don't do this with the liquor cabinet or the liqueur cabinet every year. I do it once every few years, right? Nice. Let's get rid of this guy in there. And that's our crab apple. Sweet, sweet. Oh, look at this one. Now this, this is magic. Okay, this guy. This is the cornelian cherry, okay? And this is uh, the crab apples I picked, the lemons I bought, the sea buckthorn we picked, the cornelian cherries I picked as well. And this is, this is cornelian cherry, and Persians, Iranians will kill for this. Okay, we make jam out of this too. And when this is very, very ripe, it's amazing when you eat it. It's fantastic for the tummy, okay? Uh, and a lot of antioxidants and stuff like this. But what I'm gonna do, I got a couple of bottles of this. We picked a ton of the stuff, how many years ago? Seven, eight years ago or so, okay? And uh, let's just grab a spoon. Let's bring out one of these Cornelian cherries. Let's eat one. Take a look. Right. Show the live stream people. Right. Cornelian cherry. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Mm. Very, very good. Very good. Hmm. Let's put the seed down. Because I don't think we need another spoon. I have more anyway. And Cornelian cherry. I'm going to taste the vodka in it. Because I have another bottle, I might put the two batches together. But again, I'm just going to take very little, very little, very little. All right. All I'm doing right now is just sampling it to see if it needs any more sugar. Actually, let me cleanse my palates. I'm cleansing them with, should be, I could do it with water, but this is very weak tea, so it's good. Very nice. Very nice. The 
does it need more sugar? Hmm. Let's see, where's the other batch? Let me find the other batch of this. No. Here's the other batch. And here's another batch. Cool. So here's a couple more batches. Now take a look at this. This is a good example of seeing what's going on. This one, this bottle, I've gone through a few iterations. I've probably gone through three or four fill-ups of this again, what we're doing right now, right? This one, you can see is darker on this side. This one, I haven't gone through as many iterations, right? So it still has a lot of its qualities in there. This one doesn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these two batches together. Take a look. I'm going to put these two batches together because they have the same color, right? If you can see, hopefully. Right. And I'm going to leave this one alone. And this one, what we're going to do is most likely finish off the alcohol in this and taste the little bits. And the little bits, what I'll end up doing is most likely because they're still good. I might mix them in with these guys or just leave that one alone because that's sort of, I don't know what the word for it is, sort of alcohol infused uh, fruit where it stays, it keeps, as far as I know, I've never had anything go bad on me. And we've had batches of this stuff for four decades, right? So, and this is only seven, eight years, okay? So these two guys, I have to mix together. Well, what I'm going to do is, I know what this one tasted like. Let me just put this one here for now. But I do need to taste this one as well. Just pour a little bit again. Very, very little. And you can see the color in it. Just a touch, just a touch. All right, take a look. Much sweeter, much sweeter than the other one. So I'm not gonna add any sugar to this one, okay? I'm not gonna add any sugar to this one because I thought about adding it to this one, but this one is much sweeter than this one that I'm gonna put together. So together, they'll make a good mix. They'll make a good mix. I'm not going to do it right now because I need to do this by the kitchen. Okay. So I'm going to put these on the side and deal with them when I have the space to deal with them. And this one I'm not going to taste um, because the idea will be to finish off this one first. Right. So I'll have plenty of time to taste this one first. The other one will mix together, put it up, close it up, let it sit there. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Whew. Friday is a good day to do this. <laughs> Take a look at this one. Nice, nice. This is the crab apple as well. Okay. This is another crab apple. This is darker than the other one. Take a look at that. Wow, wow. Well, I think this might be the red crab apples, maybe. Let me crack this open. And let's have a taste on it. I'm not going to eat the fruit. I want to be functional until the end of the video, right? Because <laughs> these are strong. These are strong. Okay. Because we use this one for the crab apple, the red, I believe. I hope so. Oh, no. We use the orange for the crab apple right yeah we use the orange for the crab apple the red we use uh, the sea buckthorn right i believe no 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 sea buckthorn was orange yeah i think so anyway so again we're going to taste a little bit nice let's check it out let's check it out for those watching live those of you watching recorded. 
And these are beautiful shot glasses I got. I got as a present from family friends a while ago. Oh, very nice. I like this one better than the other one. Okay, I gotta do a taste test sample. Yeah, it's sweeter, it's nicer. Oh, we added sugar to the other one. That's it, that's right. This is the flavor I like to get the crab apples to. This one, okay? So let me give this one a wipe. Oh, that just warms you when it's going down. So nice, so nice. And when did I make the crab apples? This batch, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I forget. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, this one. Let me show you this. This one we're not going to touch. This is cinnamon. Sugar and cinnamon. And the cinnamon for this was when I made the crab apple jam, the crab apple butter. And we got a whole bunch of videos on making crab apple butter. I guess we made those three years ago four years ago right actually this this cinnamon is probably from an earlier batch i think it's from an earlier batch because this was filled up to the top so this was an earlier batch but it was the same process making apple jam right but we put cinnamon in the pots as well right the videos we made i didn't put any cinnamon sticks in there i don't remember putting any cinnamon sticks in there right so there was another batch where we made apple crab apple jam might have been apple or crab apple and we put cinnamon sticks in there to give it a cinnamony flavor and then once the cook was done right what we ended up doing is taking the cinnamon sticks putting them in the jar adding sugar and filling it up with vodka okay so that's what this batch is should i have a taste of this Ooh, ooh. We got a lot more to go through. Uh, I've already tasted this a few days ago. Let's see. Oh my God, that's so nice. Let's do. Let's use a green one. Green shot glass for this, right? It's beautiful shot glass. Beautiful, and they're all different. I think they're like. Ooh, check this out. Are these two different? Yeah, their thicknesses is different and stuff like this. Let's do. I think we have uh, just a little bit, just a touch. And usually, if um, you let this sit, and the little, like when I shook it up, the little apple bits came up and made the liqueur cloudy right so usually you don't shake it up when you pick it up to pour yourself you want it to be clear all right just a little bit just a little bit nice color wow very strong very strong very delicious very delicious we're gonna leave that one alone and it's a good thing to know if uh, every now and then you go through your liquor cabinet and you you get a sense of what they taste like your collection right cool now let's put this guy here we don't need to do anything with that Blackberry. Do we have more blackberry? I have more blackberry. Okay, let me bring out. Let me bring out my blackberries. Because blackberry is something I do very, very often, right? We didn't get a chance to go do it this year, pick blackberries. But let me show you. <laughs> like these guys because <laughs> I'm hitting up these bottles right 
I sort of have just random stuff laying around. These are little firecracker, tank firecrackers. <laughs> I got four of them. Look at this. The price tag isn't even on them. Dollar twenty-five or dollar twenty-nine. <laughs> right. <laughs> so fun. Look at this. Warning. Here are these two guys. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. I got these as a gift, so seem like a waste to light them up. Maybe not. Maybe sometime we'll light them up. Okay, let's put these guys on the side. And let's see how many blackberries we have. Oh, this is from Blackberry Jam. I'll show you this later. This is also blackberry jam. And I think this is the last blackberry. Take a look at this. Okay, we got five separate bottles of blackberries, right? Now, this one is the only one that I made with gin, okay? September 2012, okay. Oh, let me show you. So I'm not gonna taste this right now. You don't really wanna mix gin and vodka. Because everything I've been sampling right now, tasting is vodka. So I don't wanna I don't wanna drink gin while I'm drinking vodka. But this is done, right? So we're gonna drink this, finish it off, and the pulp of this, I don't think we'll keep it. Okay. We might, but probably not. We might sit set it down in one of these mesh things that we have and let the alcohol drain out, possibly. But blackberries I can replenish fairly often. Every year we have great blackberry picking over here. Okay. So let's put this guy here. And the rest of these are vodka. And what I'm gonna do, you can't really see the color of that one. This one is done too. See the color on it? It's very, it's very faint, right? So this batch is done as well. So we're gonna finish off this one. I'm not gonna do anything with this. Okay. as well as this one this one's seriously done right so i might try to set this up into a mesh and get the alcohol to come out of it uh, but i don't want to use the meshes for these guys i can do those later let's check it out this one we're going to sample this one and let me see this one Let's do blackberry. Let's do blackberry in this guy. Okay. Hold this. Just a touch, just a touch. Let's see. Let's check this out. Right. Beautiful drink. Should be clearer than this, but this is old. Oh, that is nice. We're not gonna touch that. That's a good drink. Let's put this guy down. Right. And let's check out this one. Nicely sealed. Take a look. I don't want to, it's pretty full. So you can see what it looks like, right? Take a look. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit, I gotta be careful with this, so I'm not gonna bring it too close. There, perfect. Nice. Take a look. Oh, that 
is fantastic. This is the Primo, right? This one, I don't think we've touched. This is the first time I'm cracking this one open. And this would be about, uh, for about four years ago or so. The other one, the Gin one was from 2012, that's six years. Uh, yeah, this one would be from probably 2014 or so. So this one we're just gonna keep. We're not gonna touch it, okay? And uh, the one in the green bottle, we're gonna leave that, but we're gonna go through it faster, sooner rather than later. And that one's almost done as well. And the other two are done, same with the gin. So we've got one legit one. Next year, time to make blackberry liqueur. All right, so. Let me give my hands a wipe. Let me show you what I have here. Now, this guy is, was an experiment, okay? This is plum jam I made, okay? And what I did, I didn't want to get rid of the pulp. And it just was so much pulp, I didn't want to grind it. it like, it was fantastic jam, so I didn't want to throw the pulp away. So what I did is just added vodka on top. I might have added a little bit of sugar, but it didn't come out well because it's just basically thick. Because it was pulp, it was all cooked and stuff like this. It was basically thick, sort of vodka-infused jam. So I've tasted it. From what I recall, it wasn't very good. But what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put this in a sieve, put it in a glass, and let the alcohol separate from the plum. Let's do this with one of these glasses. Oof, no, no, no. Let me take a look at this. The thickness of this is insane. Right? Lesson learned. Don't do that. <laughs> look, it's like syrup. Right? Let's just have a taste of this. Let's use another spoon mm, that's actually not bad I did tasted this a while ago so let's try a little bit more <laughs> we're bringing out a seed as well <laughs> they look like this is the seeds, the pit of the of the plum, right? Wow, what a unique flavor. This would be amazing over uh, chocolate ice cream. Mm-hmm. Very good. I like it. Okay, we're not going to touch this. I was going to put this in a sieve and get the liqueur, um, the alcohol to come out of the pulp, but this tasted really good. I guess that's what happens when you let, let things age a little bit, right? Some things improve greatly with flavor, right? Or their flavors greatly improve. So let's just give this a wipe. Next time we have chocolate ice cream, we're going to be pouring this on top. All right. What else we got? What else we got? We got some random stuff here. Uh, I like marbles. I like marbles. Right. Who doesn't like marbles? Let's leave this guy here. After we go through all the liquor and we finish shooting the video and the stream, I'm gonna take everything down and give it a nice wipe, right? Oh, let me show you this. This guy is magic. This guy is magic. This guy, I'm gonna clean my palettes with water. Because this guy's magic. This guy's magic. 
Right. This guy. Is the one my grandfather started like 40 years ago in the 80s, right? And this was cherry pits. My grandmother was making cherry jam, I believe, and they needed to, they wanted to get rid of the pits. So they got rid of the pits. It wasn't cooked. Like you didn't cook the cherries with the pits, right? So you took out the pits and then you do the cook, right? So they took out the pits. And my grandfather took the seeds and made liqueur. Look at that dark blackness of this, right? I've only added vodka to this once. Many, many years ago, like 10, 15 years ago, we drank this sparingly. So I'm going to have a little taste, okay? We don't want to accidentally drop this, right? And I'll show you what it looks like close up. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let's close this baby up. Let's close this baby up. Look at the color of this. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this guy. of this oh my right take a look oh my god such an amazing cherry smell oh. magic 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 This also on oh, vanilla ice cream or black or black dark chocolate ice cream. Amazing. Oh. I'm so tempted to increase the the volume of this, but I'm not gonna touch it. This one's not gonna get touched. No, 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 no. Only special occasions we drink this. This is a special occasion, right? Let's give this one a nice wipe. Nice. Let's put this guy here. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Let's see what this tastes like. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Oh, look at this. I separated it. Nice. I got two of those guys. I forgot. When we did a move, when we did a move, that was in a different jar. So to pack things, and we've done a move a few times. <laughs> But in the last move, last couple of moves, I separated them. Check this out. This is also another cherry. Cherry seeds. Same batch from 40 years ago. Very nice, very nice. Take a look. Sweet. I didn't know I had this. I keep on forgetting because I keep on creating more, right? This one we're not gonna touch. This one we're gonna put on the side. That one's magic. That one's magic. Let's see what this one turned out. Now this was me. Let me make sure I don't have any more of these ones. Look at the darkness on this one. Yeah, these two are the same. Okay, so let me put this guy here too. This is... Oh yeah, this is the gelatiny stuff that came out. 
This guy is the same as that guy. This guy is the same as that. Oops, same as that guy. Let me make sure that's the same as that guy. Oh. I'm not 100% sure on this one. I'll have to taste it. I should have been uh, labeling these, but I haven't. Right? I might go through and label them this time around. And this guy. This is blackberry as well, but it's not the same batch. I don't believe so. Uh, what's this guy? <laughs> I'll show you this later. I'll show you this afterwards. This is, uh, I think I know what that is. That's uh, older from uh, grandmother's period, grandfather's period as well. Let's put this one back. Let me show you this glass bottle. If you like glass, glass bottles. This is Eiffel Tower. I think this was, uh, well, I know this was my grandmother's from like 40, 50 years ago. I inherited a whole bunch of stuff during certain moves, right? We lost the lid for this, unfortunately. So unfortunate. It was a beautiful bottle. I kept it. Okay. And I think that's perfume in there. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. But I think it's perfume. It's not alcohol. Okay. Let's have a taste of this. Now that we know what we got. Let's have a taste of this. Sealed up tight. Let's use a spoon. Mm, yep. There we go. <laughs> nice. Oof, oof, oof. I don't know what this is going to taste like, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's use one of these guys. I think this one's going to be pretty harsh. This is blackberry. But it might be blackberry. It might be blackberry blueberry mix. The pulp. I would have to take a look at the pulp. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Take a look. Right. Beautiful color to it, eh? Fantastic color to it. This is, both of these are blackberry, blueberry jam that I made, okay? And it's the pulp from the blackberry, blueberry jam that I took that I didn't want to throw away. I put in a jar, poured vodka on top, put some sugar, I believe. Strong, strong. I didn't put enough sugar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add sugar to this. And this is the same. Oh, sealed up. There we go. Give it a miss. There we go. We're going to have a taste of this too, just to make sure it's the same one. So, duk, 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 where's our glass? Let's check it out. Look at the color, just dark, just black, All right? Let me pour it in this and then I'll show it to you. We got little fruit flies coming around now because we're going through this stuff. They love the sugar and the, and the smell of this, right? Look at that, that looks beautiful, right? It's like port. Okay. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah, we're gonna add sugar to both of them. This one's a little sweeter than this. I'm gonna add more sugar to this. I'm gonna kick it up. So I'm gonna add this much sugar. It might be a little bit too much. We'll see. Because the lid for this is bigger, I don't need to. Okay, that's plenty. 
And I'm going to add the rest of this. Maybe top this guy off too. Cool. And we're going to close out. And we're going to close this guy up. And we're going to give him a wipe. And we're going to put him on the side. Nicely curious. Nice. Okay, let's put this guy here. Now, let me show you this. Take a look at this. All right? I believe this is crab apple again, but from our older. And this, uh, this one, the seal wasn't perfect. So maybe that's why it's a little bit darker, more oxygen got through, maybe, All right? If that's the case, I'm gonna have a little taste of it. Let me put this guy here, put this guy here. This is the fork that we used that Oh, this is crab apples. No, these are plums. This is plum. Here, I'll show it to you. Let me close this guy off. I believe so anyway. Take a look at that. All right? Very nice. It's got a great color to it, eh? Let me crack this open. Let me cut it. I'm just going to do a cut on it. Let's do a cut. Let's put this guy down, close this guy. Nice. There you are. Here's its cut. All right. Very nice. So let's have a little taste. Mmm, oh my God, that is so good. Very delicious. It's been a while since I tasted this one. I'm gonna drink a little bit from it too. Very nice. We're gonna use another glass. I brought a whole bunch of shot glasses here. Ooh. It doesn't need sugar, the, the fruit doesn't need sugar. I'm gonna taste the alcohol just to see. So it's very light colored, right? Very light colored. Beautiful color. That is magnificent. No, we're not gonna to touch this. This one's perfection. The perfection. I'm gonna eat this one too. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Take a look. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's put this guy here. Very nice, very nice. Let me give my hands a little wipe. Let's put this guy down. Over here. I think after this I'll have to eat something hearty.
That was fantastic. Now, take a look at these guys. These guys are the ones that I have issues with. This is, again, a pulp of jams that I ended up making that I didn't want to throw the pulp away. A couple of them turned out okay. They're good. Just needed more sugar. Oh, no. This one is... Let's bring out another fork. Actually, here's the fork that we used. Oh, wait a second. This is the cherry stuff. Look at this. <laughs> Let me show you this. Yeah, I'm going to put one. And before I tell you what it is, let me make sure I taste it. All right? This is what it is. All right? Little guy. Take a look. This is old. If this is what I think it is, this is old. We're going to have a little taste of this guy. I think it has a pit. Oh my God. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So good. This is uh, cherries, right? Not the pits. Straight up cherry. And it's been... I'm going to show it to you. Let me show the live stream. It's all squished down and just, just broken down now, right? This is 30 years old, right? 30-year-old mix. It doesn't have any liquid in there. This, again, would be amazing, amazing with, uh, with ice cream and stuff. Like the alcohol flavor isn't there. Right. Very little, very little. <laughs> I'm gonna pop these. Wow, this is fantastic. Look at this. What a mush. That's too much. Let me do this much. Oh my god. Look at this. Amazing. It's so dark. So dark, so dark. Right? Mm. Wow. Magic. <laughs> Fantastic. Holy. Okay. This one, we're not going to touch. I could pour vodka on top, I don't want to. This one I might transfer to the fridge. The forming, the fruit fly loves this one. Wow, wow, wow. This one is straight up cherry. That's been sucking in the alcohol and breaking down for 30 years. Can't go wrong with that. Let's see what this one is. This is, must be the blackberry, blueberry jam. Seal that tight. Let's bring it out. Let's have a sip. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh yeah, look at this. might be straight up blueberry let's grab another fork i'm gonna have a little taste of this is it straight up blueberry or this could be blackberry um cherry as well Oof. blackberry oh so strong very very strong ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's put this guy here. Leave it here for now. I gotta crack open the ones, a couple of the ones behind us. I wanna make sure I know which ones are the same. That way I'm gonna combine them, okay? So these are the ones we're using. We're putting in our mouth. And 
this one is the one we're not okay so this is blackberry okay let's see this guy is also blackberry yeah take a look i'm not going to taste this it's the same as this okay very strong i might put these uh, i'll think about it i might just add sugar to them and a little bit of vodka and this guy is the same as well yeah it's like the paste of the getting the pulp out of uh, the jam right okay let me show you guys i want to make sure i want to spell it right let me do a little taste of it this one's got more liquid in it more vodka in it so we're just going to do a little sample super strong but the liquid is pretty damn sweet let me show it to you i shouldn't have show, i should have showed it to you i forgot to show it to you that means we just have to have another one right here is uh for the gang watching live right fantastic great color delicious here it is so it's very much the same color same flavor as the previous blackberries we had Yeah, that is very good. So these, this one needs sugar. This one, I have to taste it as well. So, you know what? I'm going to leave this one alone because this one tastes good. And I'm not going to mess with this one. Okay. We leave this guy alone. And we're going to crack open this one because we didn't taste this one. I want to see if this one is like that one or like this one. We'll find out soon enough. This is the blackberry. Let me clean my palate. All right. Let's see. Let's pour a little bit in this. I think this is like the other one, the good one. I might taste the liquid in that too. I was gonna taste it without showing you. Can't do that. Gotta show it to you. Right? Beautiful. Let me show you guys that we're recording on. very nice i'm gonna taste the liquid on this one too actually i got another clean fork here i brought a whole bunch of forks i got four forks here i'm gonna taste the pulp in this just to see if i think this is the blueberry blackberry mix We're gonna taste the other one too. We must. We must. Let's do. Let's taste the liquid in this. The liquid in this. Let's taste the. Do we have any more here? Here. I'm gonna use a fresh one. need sugar I might just add sugar to it again All right. let me 
sure if people are watching on the DVD. Oof, strong. Okay, this guy needs. This one's just strong. Let's do this. We are, we are just gonna make a little note. Okay. Because it's very much different than the other two. Not different, but super strong. Strong. And after I give this whole place a wipe, a clean, I'm gonna label these this time, okay? Let's close this properly. Let's close this properly. I just put down strong blackberry. Right? That's it, for now. And then once I clean the place up, we'll put it together. Put legit labels on it. Let's take this down. Now, that's all the liqueur we've taken care of here. I want to make some new batches. So let's do this, right? I want to make more cherry. Cherry, once cherry ages for a few years, it is brilliant really the the cherry liqueur is magnificent okay now i should have done this when we were in season when we we're in season but i didn't we have frozen cherries that we we have right now right so and there's another one i want to make uh well i'll show it to you but i want to make some mint some of the dried mint that we have i should have used fresh mint but uh, actually maybe we won't make the mint We'll wait until I get some fresh mint. So let me. Let me bring up a bag of cherries. These are basically frozen cherries that we had in the freezer. They're pitted. There is no pits in them. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up this this guy okay now we just got to be careful Oops, lost one So we're basically making new batches. Not that we don't have enough, but it's always, because once you do this, you're not gonna have access to this. You're not gonna be able to drink this for a few years, for at least a couple of years, right? You might taste it next year, maybe, right? But two years, three years, four years, is starting to get really good, right? 40 years, it is phenomenal. It is black gold right magic just pure magic right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pour sugar on top pour vodka let the sugar go down and then pour more sugar and i'll show you how much take a look so this is the cherry right basically one jar of cherry you know you shake it it settles a little bit so almost full right I'm going to show you how much sugar I'm going to put in here. And I might increase it later on, right? So this guy, I got a measuring cup. I usually don't use a measuring cup. What do we got here? This is 125 milliliters, okay? 
and that comes out to uh, a half a cup or four ounces okay <laughs> all the different measurements on here so we're just gonna pour the sugar on top so this is half a cup I'm gonna add more I'm adding another half a cup right, another half a cup and this is these are like one kilo jars or something like this I don't know what they are or 750 so we're just gonna add it on top perfect that's a lot of sugar it's gonna be sweet this one okay and what we're gonna do we're gonna pour this is how much vodka we had left from the other one filling up the lemon right like here that we did at the beginning so we're gonna pour on top of this cool so that was basically it was a little bit less than half a bottle so this is 750 mil so let's say approximately 300 mils of vodka half a 26 or between a third and a half a 26er right but let's call it let's call it half a 26er and all we're going to do now is just close this off that's it and after we shoot the video we've done the stream i'm going to go put this under sunlight by the window okay so that was cherry you know what i should put a label on that i'm just going to go cherry sour cherry is the sour cherry Oh, we lost one here. Let me taste it. Here it is, right? I think this is straight up chair. Cherry. Cherry 2018. Frozen. One cup sugar. And half a 26er. Half a 26er vodka okay there you go i'll make proper labels later okay famous last words right now the other one i want to make is blueberry okay so let me grab another bottle let's throw blueberries in this okay Again, just frozen blueberries, right? Fresh would work. Fresh would be ideal, really. You know what? Instead of using this bottle, let me use this bottle that has a bigger lid. That way it's easier to get in, right? These are really yummy blueberries, by the way. Same with the cherries. The cherries are good, but the blueberries are fantastic. They're from an organic farm in Vancouver that we bought. So let me get my hands a wipe. And we're going to put sugar in this, right? Let's do it. So this is... Okay, let's do... Just go straight to a full cup if we can. So this is a little bit less than a full cup. I might add a little bit more at the end. Right. 
And let's crack open another bottle. Again, do not use flavored vodka for this, or I never have. Maybe you want to, I don't know. This is going to be sweet. And usually the first batch is going to be sweeter, and then you don't add sugar, you just add more vodka to it, right? Or gin. And usually we use clear spirits. Okay, I don't want to use up the whole vodka, because I want to make another one. I want to make a strawberry one as well. I've never made a strawberry one. I thought, why not? Why not? Right, so let's put this guy here. So here is. Did I show you the chair I want to close up when we close this? Right. The lid of this I'll have to change. The top is new. That seal part. This one is a little bit. But here it is, right? That's much sugar. It's going to be sweet when it's ready. Okay. Fantastic. That's the blueberry, and let's do a strawberry. Okay, let's do a strawberry. And the strawberry one, let's... Do we have... Since I've never made a strawberry one, I'm just going to make a little guy. Should I make a little guy? Uh, mm, should we make a little guy? Should we make a little guy or a big guy? You know what? Let's go with the big guy. It's gonna be hard getting the strawberries in this. Let's see, they're whole strawberries. Mm -hmm. And again, these are organic, local strawberries, right? Oh wow, that smells amazing. We gotta make some jam. I'm gonna use my hands because otherwise there's no way this is going to get in there. If we're by the sink, I would give my hands a wash, but we are just pouring vodka in there. That's as sterile as it's going to get, right? Shake it a little, let it settle. This is going to be good. One more we can get in there. <laughs> Strawberry liqueur. Nice. I'm happy with this. Oh, we got a couple more in there. Let's get some more in there. Because there's nothing like eating infused fruit that you've made liqueur out of, like the way we did, like one of those things, two of those things were absolutely phenomenal, right? One more. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. And let's pour the sugar in there. Sugar, sugar. We're going to put a cup in there. This is a little bit less than a cup, so I might add a little bit more. Let's do this. And... Nice. <laughs> They're going to be sweet. I'm making them intentionally sweet because I just want to I want these to last a while go through a few refills right and let's pour the vodka nice and we got a little bit left which is fine
what was this? Beautiful color. Really, beautiful color. All right? Take a look. Okay. Take a look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful, right? And the sugars almost all gone down. So these three that we just made, for sure I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go put in the window. It's a little sunny today. It's supposed to be sunny this week, so hopefully we get some nice sun, right? Beautiful. So we actually didn't end up uh, consolidating any of the any of the batches. We've sort of organized a little bit. So I know once I clean this up, I know what's going to go where, and I'm going to label them properly and take care of business, right? Uh, sort of a fall winter cleaning. Uh, for the liqueurs anyway that I do once every I guess two three four years this has been a while since I did this I just kept on adding making new adding adding so I lost track of what was there uh, aside from that I hope you enjoyed uh, that's the way I sort of make my own batches of special drinks for special occasions or medicinal stuff like we had sea buckthorn and uh, the lemon for sure and we have uh, uh, what's it called? Cornelian, Cornelian cherries, right? Zoralachte. Uh, fantastic, fantastic liqueurs to have if you're got a little bit of tummy or you ate a little bit too much at that sort of uh, pot like you went to or something. Okay, and they make, by the way, these make phenomenal gifts. We've there's some people that we've actually taken some of the stuff and poured into. A glass jar and stuff and we take it to them as a gift and they people who appreciate this type of stuff uh, it's uh, it's fantastic they love it they love getting that and they love sampling it and when we have friends or guests over for special occasions every now and then after dinner or potluck or whatever we ask people what flavor liqueur do you want and we pour on a little bit of liqueur and give them little shot glasses and sit down talk eat dessert maybe uh, and just uh, enjoy it, right? Uh, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream and the next video. Bye for now.